Hello and welcome back to Tony North Easton. And um, what you got in front of you is an XLNER V3 um, locomotive in BR Black. And behind that we have a rake of milk tankers from various liveries. And um, I've won some of these from Rails of Sheffield. Now I have a a few that have not been weathered um, so this is what we're going to do we're going to weather up the ones that have not been weathered um, some of them have come pre-weathered I'm not sure if I like the way they have done it um, it just looks too much um, we'll go into detail about that in a moment. So there's quite a few to do, but I just want to just weather them very, very subtly. So let's go back to the bench and let's have a look how I'm going to do it. It might not be the correct way or the right way, but um, I think the weathering on that is probably way too much. So, let's go and have a look. Right, here we are at the bench, and these are the four that need the weathering done. Um, the ones that have been weathered already are over here. Uh, I might have to sort of blend them in with the ones I'm going to do. Right, so the paint I'm going to use is this Citadel um, shade. Agrax Earthshade um, for the actual tanks and I'm going to use a mixture of Humbrol paints for the bodies which is satin black um, a dark grey matte 245 and matte white and to finish it off I'll just touch up the buffers with a little bit of metallic silver so the first thing I've got to do is take off the ladder racking off all the tanks and mark them up because this one's slightly they different. They come apart quite easy. You take the centre wheel out, it just pops out. And so you see two little skinny tabs you'll see two little skinny tabs, one there and one there and you just push them out and then the ladder racking should just, I use some flat headed screwdriver and the ladder racking should just should just peel away and it should just peel away like so and that one's popped out so I just got to do the same to the other side and that one's popped out as well and then they should just unclip from the top And they should just unclip from the top, just like that. And then you should be just left with the tank. You can leave the chassis on. Um, I don't think it's necessary to take the chassis off. Okay, now we've got the ladder racking off. We just give the paint a good stir. And just put a few droplets. Like so. You don't need that much, really. You just do little areas at a time, just push it on. And then just get a cotton bud and just wipe it off. wipe it off in an up and down motion you can just see it's just streaking it now it's just a very subtle dirt because you can see as you can see see that bit hasn't been touched yet and that has it's very very subtle right so continue with the rest and then see where we are from there Okay, so that's one side complete. 
and if I just move another one up slowly see how clean that is and there's not a lot of difference it just turns it down a little bit so I shall continue and get back to you when okay, I finished finish the first one and in the end I did away with the cotton bud and just decided to use the brush all the time and just kept brushing it up and down um, until streaks um, disappeared um, still very lightly weathered um, obviously it doesn't show up as well as it does in real life than what it does on the video um, but um, I'm quite happy with that that's one done and three more to go right as you can see I've done uh, a couple of them now um, this one's a little bit darker than that one so you've got a little bit of um, variant in the weathering right this one that was already weathered all I've done is just brushed it across the top and let it streak down uh, with a brush and then wipe it off with a cotton bud um, just to try and make it blend in with the ones that I have done and they seem to blend in together quite well here we are we have the eight tankers um, weathered just on the tanks themselves um, this one here is a Hornby one and it has been done but you can barely make out that it has been done but only that the lettering is slightly darker um, all I've done is just gone over the top um, with stroking the same paint uh, in an up and down motion so the streaks run from top to bottom so I found this one the hardest one to do um, these are, are plastic and you can't take them out without snapping them so I left those in right for that. now then for the chassis the chassis I'm going to use the 2 4 five grey and a mixture of white so we make a lighter grey and rub it into the chassis and then wipe it off um, just to dirty up the chassis a little bit what I'm going to do is two parts of matte grey and one part matte white to start with and see how that goes and if it um, needs a bit more grey or if it needs to be darker we'll add some more black Right, so I'll just stir the two paints together. Hopefully I'll get a nice dark grey in there. Doesn't look too whitish. Might have to add a little bit of black to that. Right, I think I'll start with a pre-weathered one. And just... Uh, maybe that's too, too greyish. Mm. Uh, maybe a bit darker. Yeah, I think that's too light. We'll add a bit more black. Okay, I've added a bit more black to the paint and uh, I think that looks a little bit better. Right, that looks a little bit better. Um, what I'll do, I'll continue with the rest. Okay, as you can see, uh, I brush it on and then just get a cotton board and wipe it off as quickly as possible. Um, cause basically, you just want to weather it rather than smear the whole thing in paint. Um, by taking it off, um, reasonably quick you end up with a nice effect like a dull greyish effect and you're only putting it on the chassis you're not spraying it up the insides of the tank if you were spraying it okay I've finished doing the chassis um, they haven't come out too bad um, this one was not a pre-weathered one but uh, this one underneath was and there's not a lot of difference so let me explain what I did with the pre-weathered ones pre-weathered ones first thing I did was blacken that chassis reel first and then went over with the grey mix that I made up earlier um, just to get a similar finish just on the chassis 
as you can see so that's worked out quite well so there's only one thing left to do now and that's the buffers so what I'm going to do now is just touch the buffers up with some silver paint and um, we're done okay uh, at last I have uh, finished with the milk tankers um, as you can see I've painted all the buffers now um, all I've done is just touch them up with a little bit of um, silver metallic paint and uh, they've come out quite well um, uh, can you tell the difference um, between the original weathered ones and the ones that I've done right the original weathered one is the one on the right and the one on the left is the one that I have done um, but I have tinkered as you know with the weathered one to try and get them looking similar but not the same if that makes sense so that's a job done Now then, can you spot the difference between that tanker and this tanker? Yeah, you've guessed it. This one um, hasn't got the hook for the chain links. And this one has. Now the West Park Dairy Company is a Hornby one. And the rest of these are all daples, and they all have not got the hook on it. Um, I'm not worried about that little bit of detail, but some of you guys out there might be but that is the difference between the Daypole range and the Holmby range yeah I think they haven't come out too bad um, not over indulged in making them too dirty just enough to make them look well weathered right okay um, that's all for now I think thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now. Bye.